Hey there, this is Dane from FeatherProp.com and I'm going to do a video today which I'm going to call Backpacks 101. I just want to talk about backpacks a little bit today, so stay tuned. Alright, I am uh, sitting here today with the, the Gregory boys. Alright, now this may sound like a Gregory commercial. It's not. Um, I do have four Gregory packs here, and that's all that I have. I have Gregory packs, and I use them because I like them. They're, to me, they're very, very comfortable. They're reliable. Uh, they're good, solid packs, so I use Gregory's. But what I'm going to talk about is not necessarily Gregory today. I just want to talk about backpacks. Um, I've been backpacking for about uh, 20 plus years now. When I first started, I had a, uh, an external frame. I think it was made by Coleman. Uh, I don't recall much about it. I don't have it anymore. I gave it away. And I used it for years. Um, put a lot of miles on it, but it just didn't have the capacity that I, that I needed in a backpack. So one day I went into a, um, an outfitter in the Pittsburgh area and uh, told him I was looking for a backpack and they fitted me with this Gregory. Now they asked me how long are you going to spend in the woods, you know, uh, what type, you know, what type of uh, season are you hiking, and I said it could be all seasons, and I was at that time I was spending five to seven days when I was hiking bits and pieces of the Appalachian Trail. So they fitted me with this Shasta um, Gregory backpack. It's, a, it's about 80 liters, which is huge. That's a huge backpack. As a matter of fact, Gregory made this little mini pack for your backpack. So it actually has a little, your backpack had a backpack and I could put little things and items in there and that was just kind of convenient to have. So actually with this it was over 80 liters. I don't know how big this actually is but um, but that was back in the day. That was back in the 1990s and back in the 1990s backpacking was completely different. Um, in those days uh, this is the this is the stove that I carried. I mean it was a it was a big stove, it was a whisper light. I mean, in those days it wasn't that big, but in today's standards it's kind of big. This is the fuel bottle that I carried for my stove. Um, these kinds of things just took up room and they were heavy, and so it was necessary to have something heavy. Uh, back in those days, this was my um, water filter. And so, again, you can see it's heavy, it's bulky, and um, sleeping bags, they weren't as efficient as they are today. So, back in the 90s, this is the kind of backpack you needed. I mean, you needed an 80 liter backpack. Um, in the movie Wild uh, that came out here not long ago, um, uh, Cheryl Strayed, the uh, star of the movie, she had, I think, an 80 liter backpack, and that's, that's what you needed. I mean, you needed something with a lot of room in those days. Uh, this backpack served me well. I've used it many, many times, put a lot of miles on it over the years. But this backpack is not light. This is almost an eight pound backpack empty. So without anything else to it, it's nearly eight pounds just sitting there like it is. That's a heavy backpack. Um, so after, after years, I realized I was in, in the market for something else. And, and I got this, this Gregory uh, 65. It's a Zulu 65 uh, backpack. So, you know, it's considerably smaller. Uh, this weighs in at, I wrote it down. 4 pounds, 12 ounces. I mean, still on the heavy side. Now, Gregory is not made, Gregory is not known for the lightest backpacks out there. Uh, they don't make extremely light backpacks, but they do make very comfortable backpacks. Um, and this is one, I mean, it's, it's, it's made, you know, to, to, uh, to pass, air to pass through behind your back to keep you comfortable. I don't know if you can zoom in enough to see these, these um, straps. But you can see they have a mesh strap to it, uh, which allows airflow actually even through your strap area. So uh, these, these backpacks are made to keep you cool, to keep you comfortable when you're out on the trail. So this is a 65, uh, ba 65 liter backpack. And it is kind of nice uh, when I carry uh, my bear vault. So if I'm going out west and I need to take a bear vault to keep my food in, this backpack gives me a little bit of extra room and I can still pack everything in there. And, and carry it. This, um, this Gregory also comes with a day pack um, inside of it. Uh, this is where you put your, uh, your um, Camelback water filter. It goes in there inside the backpack and then if you want to, if you're around camp and you want to just go for a brief hike, you can actually pull this out of the backpack and as you see it's got straps. And you can strap your water to you and then just go for a short day hike, which is kind of a nice feature. Um, 
and this is optional, you can pull this out and not take this uh, with you. So this is a good backpack, and, it, and for me, uh, it replaced my 80 liter backpack. Uh, this is a good backpack for winter hiking, extended uh, week long hiking. I can get all my stuff into this, it's, it's expandable, uh, this material stretches a little bit more than this does, so it, it'll expand if I have to make it do that, so it's a very, very nice backpack. Um, incidentally, Gregory makes a really kind of a cool feature, um, if I can show it to you here, that um, when you're using it and you get it out in the woods, make this work here. It actually has a, a zipper that allows you to open it up and get into the contents of your backpack, almost like a, a piece of luggage without digging. So if you have something down here in the bottom of your backpack, you can unzip it, you can get into it from the side, um, from the top like that, uh, and, and, and pull out what you need to do. And that's kind of a, a, not just a nice feature that Gregory has uh, on their backpacks. And that might be not universal, or that might not be limited to Gregory. Other packs might do that. It's just kind of a cool feature. But this is 65 liters, still kind of big in my estimation. So I have another backpack, and this is sort of my go-to backpack. This is a 55 liter Gregory. This is uh, the Z series. I don't believe they make the Z series any longer. Uh, it also has the same um, kind of airflow design in the back. It also has the, um, the mesh, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see that it has the mesh inside the uh, straps which allows for uh, airflow to kind of keep you cool. Very, very comfortable backpack. Uh, when this is sitting right, when you have your, your, your equipment in there, you really don't feel it that much. It really is easy to carry around. And this weighs at three pounds, um, 55, excuse me, 3 pounds, 15 ounces, almost 4 pounds. Again, not the lightest backpack out there. There's a lot of other backpacks that are lighter than that, um, but uh, it, it's just one that to me is very comfortable. And it also has the same uh, zipper function on the side. You can see you can access uh, the, the, uh, the, back, the contents of the backpack by using this outside zipper. This has been my go-to backpack. Um, I, I use this the most because it's only 55 liters. It's the lightest one that I have that I can put my stuff in. It's very good for a weekend or even I've done this on some five-day hikes. I can get all my equipment in uh, in a five-day in, in, let's say, summer and maybe uh, fall. If I'm going to think about winter hiking when I need to put in a lot of clothing, um, heavier equipment, things like that, I'll probably go to my 65 liter. I, I have retired this one. I, I'm not going to be carrying this one any longer. But I can go to this one if I'm going to be out for an extended period of time. Uh, and especially if I'm in the winter or if I have to take my uh, bear vault, I'll use this one. But for all the purposes, the 55 liter is perfect. I could probably go smaller. Um, uh, it, it's, it's, you know, on a weekend, I still have plenty of room on that if I need to. Which really leads me up to my, my last backpack, and this is a Gregory, I think it's called the Fury. It's a 24 liter backpack, and I just got this for day hikes. It's really good for sporting out um, on the woods. It's got the, one outside, no, it's got two outside pockets uh, for water bottles and uh, small items. And it's, it's really just designed for you know, day hikes, for hiking around, but it, with 24 liters, it gives you a lot of room to put some, some your equipment in. I've never used this on an overnighter. I, don't think that I could, that I could get all my sleep system in here, uh, my stove, um, I mean, let's just strictly a summer hike, I might be able to get away with it. I've never tried it, though. let's say that, it, it, it possibly could work. But um, again, it's just, it, it's, just a, it's just a backpack, and I use this sometimes for work. If I'm overnighting uh, somewhere, or I'm going away, I've used this internationally. If I'm, I'm going out of the country and I need to take a backpack with me, this is, this is just good for that. So, so in, in, the, in your backpacks, if you're deciding to get one, um, I wouldn't necessarily think big. 80 liters, way too big, unless you're going on some Arctic type of exploration. I mean, exploration. It's just, it's just too big. Even 65 liters, in my estimation, for typical three-season weekend or maybe a week hike, it might even be too big. 55 liters, I think you're talking a little bit closer to reality, and once you start or really what you need, I should say. Once you start putting your stuff in, I think you'll find that something like this might just work. Um, so I just wanted to talk about this because I get some questions occasionally about what backpacks to choose and, and things like that. 
I, I recommend try Gregory on. They, they fit nice. Um, you might, you might uh, find that they're a little heavier than other backpacks. And if weight's your primary consideration, then by all means go with something else. But I've been real happy uh, with the Gregory pack. So I just wanted to bring you a video to show you what I use and why I use what I use. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, any responses, uh, feel free to comment below. And I hope to see you in the woods.